Time for a power play. Please welcome a U.S. Army veteran, John James. Good afternoon, Patriots. How's everyone doing this morning? This afternoon, goodness, goodness. Great lineup today, glad to be here. I wanna take a couple seconds to take you on a quick journey, a quick journey in the past, past for most of us. Imagine you're 20 years old and it's your first night on the job. Now imagine you're in the desert. You're surrounded by enemy fire and it's zero 300 hours. Your manager killed. Your supervisor killed, and now you're in charge. Who would you call in the darkest moment of your life? You call for air support. You call on experienced selfless servants who will put themselves in the line of fire to meet your needs where you are. You call on men and women who can be trusted to bring order to chaos and hope for a better tomorrow in your world because they've done it before. So back to that night at 3 a.m. for those uh, non-military types in the room. This young man on one of my combat patrols in Iraq, Operation Iraqi Freedom 0709, radios up to me and tells me that his unit is taking heavy casualties and he needs our help now. Easy enough. I ask him, what are your coordinates? He responds, I'm by a white bongo truck. <laughs> a white bongo truck. The whole city of Baghdad sprawled below me at night, and all this young soldier can offer us to help him find him is a yellow needle in a haystack. But because of my ranger school training, because I understood his fear, his confusion, his feeling of abandonment and hopelessness, because I understood what it felt like on the ground, I located him within seconds, and my team of pilots silenced that particular threat forever. Ladies and gentlemen, relevant experience matters. We'd never send untrained soldiers out on dangerous missions, yet we continue to send politicians who have not had the occasion to develop the skill set to understand how to lead us in the real world. That's why all they can do in Washington is bicker and spend. That's why prosperity in America is under attack today. That is why freedom in America is under attack today. My friends, this is not easy for a soldier to say. Joe Biden is dangerously inept, but, but let me be clear. The leftist extremism at home, while communist power continues to expand abroad, is our number one enemy. In just one year, leaders in Moscow and Beijing are emboldened by a weakened United States because they see every misstep this administration has taken in Afghanistan and Eastern Europe and elsewhere. They believe that America can no longer be trusted to keep its promises. They see the rising prices at the gas pump and at the grocery store because leftist policies have stressed our supply chain and sacrificed our energy independence and our manufacturing independence to Russia and China. They see leftist politicians are too tied up in woke politics and culture wars to lead us all effectively. They see liberals spend more time fighting for control over the American people than they do fighting for the prosperity of the American people. <laughs> Everything we do, they see. So America, let's give them a show. Let's be loud. Let's be strong. Let's be focused. Let's be the resistance. 
Every American in this room, every American watching at home, every American who casts a ballot this November will have the opportunity to take down communism, foreign and domestic, and put the United States of America, the greatest country that's ever existed, back on the right track. This November, freedom is on the ballot. And in one of our darkest moments, America is calling for air support. America is calling on you. Follow me. Let's fly. Thank you.